morning happy halloween it's october 31st 2023 october 31st did i say 21st i don't know october 31st 2023 i'm marissa from my video diary it's halloween my father's birthday I'm in a lot of pain. I need a chiropractic adjustment. Last night I got the my lower thoracic and upper lumbar to pop. But there's still it's my thoracic. My upper thoracic needs to I can't get it. Just can't get it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, I need another massage. And I need, like, right across my clavicles. I need right here rubbed. It's hard to do for myself. Yeah. Because it makes me have to, like, turn my arm. And I, I'm, I've been having... I, since I broke this arm, I get spas spasms in the muscle. And what a mess. A friggin' mess. Oh, so today I continue working on that jacket. If I get the painting on that jacket done today, that's going to be my goal. My goal is going to be to get the, all the painting done on the jacket. If I can get all the painting done on that jacket today, then I will open the other box of canvases. So I was thinking about it last night, those canvases. Oh, those canvases. I'm really, really hoping that the other three are not in the uh, not the same as the one that is open so like i could do mixed media onto those canvases i could do i could do some collage work on those canvases I, um and it might be interesting to do a series of large collage because i have i have some large collage but large most the majority of the large collage i have not all of it the majority of large collage i have are tabletops that I've done, right? And then there's the ongoing um, table leaf that goes on our dining room table that um, we do on New Year's. Omar and I do on New Year's. So there's that. Oh, I'll have to bring stuff home for that this year. Or maybe we'll just go into the gallery to do it. I don't know. Um, yeah. So there's, that, there's those. And then I have two large one one on board I said on board yeah one is on board which is the um first collage Omar and I did the first decade long collage it was worked on for 10 years and then the other one I have is downstairs it was the last piece of art I made in Oakland and it was the Easter piece that last Easter we were there in Oakland before we moved out before we moved out here to Santa Cruz yeah. Oh my God. There is something. I, I guess, I don't know, maybe it's from burning the fireplace, but there is thickness in my face. Mm. Oh my God, that basketball last, the game last night. They ate pelican burgers for dinner. That was like a slaughter. All that hype over Zion. All that hype. He looks like he could run through walls. Oh my gosh. That is a lot of human being. He's a big dude. Zion. Oh my god. Talking about basketball player. I'm not talking about Israel right now. Yeah. New Orleans. I know how to make gumbo. I do. I know how to make gumbo. I do. Mm -hmm. I know how to do it. Oh, it's involved. It really is. It's more than you don't just you don't just throw shit in a pot. You got to put the right stuff in the pot in the right order, and then you got to take some of the stuff out of the pot, put other stuff in the pot, and then put that other, the stuff that you took out. You got to put it back in at the right time. <laughs> yeah, 
I know me a little bit about making gumbo. I do. Mm -hmm. And you put the herbs in last. You put the spices in, in earlier. The spices. The, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta brown those spices. And I'm not talking about no seasoning salt. Although a lot of people use that stuff, right? That pre-mixed stuff. Old Bay or whatever. Mm -mm. You finish it with the other ones. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I was talking to somebody one time. I said they put that their mom put turtle in it. Her mom put turtle in her in her gumbo. No, I take it back. I have had I had turtle once. I had turtle soup one time. One time I had turtle soup. Where were we when I had was? I was a teen because I was out with then out to dinner with my parents. How was that? We had turtle soup. I had turtle soup. It was similar to clam chowder, except it wasn't. It didn't taste so clammy. Like it, the the turtle had a similar texture to clam. Oh, anyway, but it tasted. I don't know. It tasted more similar to like alligator. They say alligator tastes like chicken, which it kind of does, but not really. No. It doesn't taste fishy either, though. Like, it's not... Rep reptile and amphibian, it has a... I don't know. You don't know what it tastes like. It tastes like... You say it tastes like chicken, and it's kind of... It's kind of similar. It tastes like chicken the way the corn nuggets taste like chicken, right? Like... You could pass it off as chicken, but you know it's not really. You really no, it's you know it's not. <laughs> you know, um, I've had alligator. I've had alligator a couple times. I don't know if they still have it on the menu on uh, at at La Fondue. Mm. Uh, do they La Fondue? They still have alligator on the menu. Uh, on on the they have a wild had a wild game option for your for your fondue. They, had a, had alligator on there, alligator, wild boar, and what else is on that? Ostrich. Ostrich is dry. It is. It's real dry. I got. I made ostrich burgers one a couple times. They were they were real dry, real 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 lean. They need to have bacon chopped up in them or something. I mean, I don't need any of it now, but you know, if you're gonna cook it. Ostrich is kind of like rabbit that way. You got to be real careful with rabbit because it's so lean. Rabbits, the, the fat on a rabbit is all subcutaneous. It's all underneath the skin or in the skin, right? <clears throat> yeah. 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 So rabbit can get dry real easy. Yeah. Pheasant's real lean too. And it doesn't taste like chicken. I mean, it tastes like fowl, right? It doesn't taste fowl. It tastes like a fowl. Like, oh yeah, this is bird. This isn't this isn't uh, reptile. But it doesn't taste like chicken, and it doesn't taste like turkey either. It tastes like pheasant. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's a little more like pork and texture, pork roast, right? The stringiness, right? Pheasant and get that stringiness on pheasant. I don't know why I'm talking about meat. I don't know, maybe because it's Halloween. It's Halloween, it's my dad's birthday, and he loves to eat meat. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. That jacket and those canvases. Yeah, so if I do collage, if I do a series of collage on those canvases, I don't even want to think about having to buy more canvases. Ugh. Ugh. Arr. Well, I have to, I have to, re I have to reserve my, my super irritation until I open that other box and see if they are. I got them from Dick Blick, and they're Dick Blick, uh, brand, and they're just, uh, just uh. I used to buy Utrecht canvases, right? You, Dick Blick bought Utrecht, and when they did that, quality of the, of the, the company brand, right, went 
way downhill. Went way, way, way downhill. Yeah. Blick bought you trek. I used to love you trek paints. Yeah, and their gesso. It was really good. Like they were as good and some of the products were better than Windsor Newton. Windsor Newton you can't they don't make hardly anything anymore. They just make paint. And their brushes aren't the same quality they used to be. I had a Series 1 watercolor brush that got stolen. It's one of the things that got stolen in Oakland. That watercolor brush, my um, my hand handmade um, ceramic tool. My ceramic tools got stolen, my pottery tools. Yeah. But that, that one tool in particular, that tool cost like 85 bucks, and it was just like... And I, I don't know where I can get it. And I, and I bought it at the school bookstore. They sold them at the school bookstore. There's a guy that made them. Oh, anyway. <laughs> I don't like thinking about that. I don't like thinking about Oakland in that way. It was... Are you coming in here, mister? Are you coming in here? You coming in here? Hey, how are you? How are you, sir? You want to come up here with mommy? Your eyes are all red. Did you have your face in the chicken poop? Hey, look at me. Look at me, mister. Hey. Do you have your face in the chicken poop? Come on up here. Come on. Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? Did, were you giving mommy kisses last night? Did, did, did mommy get all the Brody kisses? Huh? Did I get all the Brody kisses last night? I did, yeah. Brody was all snuggly last night. I got all kinds of kisses from Brody. He was all snuggly. Were you a snuggly boy? Were you most snuggly boy? Mm -hmm. Were you a snuggly boy last night? So snuggly. Did mommy do laundry yesterday? Is there lots of laundry downstairs? Did mommy fold laundry? Are all the towels in the are all the towels in the dryer right now? Is mommy gonna have to wash and dry with hand towels this morning? Because all the other towels. Yes. He's, he's wagging his toes like yeah, they are. They're all down there, mom. Because they're in the dryer and they're not dry yet. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, mister. Hey, handsome boy. Hmm. Yeah, so there's that. I had to do laundry yesterday. Oh, my gosh. Always doing laundry. Laundry queen. I got speed queen washer and dryer. Yeah. Yep. Because they're workhorses. And we got this hard water. I wanted workhorse machine that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been watching United Nations channel on YouTube. And I've been watching the live meetings. I don't know. Yesterday, they were talking about Africa. Talking about West Africa. And they were voting on resolutions and stuff. And I don't know. Where can I read these resolutions? I'd like to read them. But, like, Russia abstained. And I'm like, of course you would. <laughs> they, they cited, there's a conflict of interest. I'm like, yes, you pick the fight. And so it would be a conflict of interest for you to vote on this resolution. Oh. Mm -mm. Now Russia is also saying they want to send troops into Gaza to liberate Gaza from, from Israel. I don't even want to watch. I don't even want to watch. Like, I need to stop watching. I need to officially stop watching and paying attention because I'm going to do my card reading. So I need to, like, disconnect. I need to disconnect from all that shit right now. Because I, like, don't want to know. It taints, it taints the read. It taints the read if I'm too involved. So I think it's like I got to just I got to just walk away from it. Oh my God, I need to stop looking at the news altogether. It just, like I said, I don't read the future. I read the present energy and it's a very, very different approach. Isn't it, buddy? You lay in a mama's lap. Oh, are you just a baby? Is Brody just a baby? Are you just a baby, buddy? You're just a baby. You're just mama's baby. You're just a, just a, you're just a little puppy still. Are you? You're still just a little puppy. 
You just a little puppy. Your mom's a little puppy. Oh, yeah. You're my baby boy. Are you so good? Are you so handsome? Do you give sweetest kisses? Oh, you give sweetest kisses. Oh, you're just gentle. Mm -hmm. He does. He's just so gentle when he gives the kisses. Just little ones. Mm -hmm. Just a little tip of his tongue. He likes to lick the tip of my chin. He's a good boy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I read present energy. And it's a very different way of reading, right? Because it doesn't tell you what you're going to do. It doesn't tell you, you know, how things are going to turn out. It tells you how things are right now. And quite honestly, I find that so much more valuable, right? His furs, his furs are so soft. Hey, buddy, you look like you're getting some brown furs that are coming up under your black furs, huh? Is that just the light? Is that just the light reflecting off of the bedspread, huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're going to sniff boobies? Oh, there was a dog the other day. On Saturday. There was a dog that came in. Sunny. And and I was giving him pets and he was snuggling. And he, then he just he stuck his nose right down between my boobs and licked. Like, lickety split. That must be where it comes from. <laughs> I was like, sticky booby licker. His mom was like, ah! <laughs> I said, oh, mine's the same way. <laughs> and we're mammals because we have mammaries. All right. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Mm. Yeah. So, just focus on the art, Larissa. Just focus on the art. You can't do anything to help the people in Gaza. You can't do anything at all. So I just keep telling myself, there's nothing you can do. There's like a survivor's guilt. It's, it's, and it's, and it's like, I, I have a sense, I have that sense of like survivor's guilt when I encounter information on any kind of conflict it's like oh my god and it's like okay first world problem right bitch first world problem you know you got relatively clean water to drink and food on your in your refrigerator and you don't go to bed worrying about rocket fire or whatever I mean I go to bed worrying about trees coming down or people coming in in the middle of the night and cutting my throat but you know um <clears throat> or when I leave my house people coming in and stealing shit because that happens but it's not the same as like living in a war zone, an outright war zone. And, and having it, you know, relatively good in comparison, right? And there's just like this utter sense of helplessness and impotence in the face of the mass destruction and devastation in places like Palestine and Ukraine and Sudan and anywhere else, right? I just... And every morning I wake up without having had a dream or without having remembered a dream. I am grateful I don't want to dream about those wars. And I mean, frequently that's what my dreams are. The, 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 the rare respite that I get with dreams where I get to see loved ones or the sensual dreams that I sometimes get to have now as an adult. I never had them as, as a girl, but as an adult, you know, like the rare respite that I find in those dreams. And I can't say I, I don't, it's not like when I was, when I was a teen and I would go to bed anxious about, am I going to have, because I didn't, I didn't, while, while I was aware that there was war going on and I was having these awful dreams, it wasn't a correlation kind of thing. Um, 
like I have now, right? And there, I had an anxiety over it, you know, an anxiety about going to sleep. Um, I don't have that now, but there's, it, there is still that nag in the back of my mind, like, oh, am I going to have to see that tonight? So I'm grateful when I don't remember. Um, yeah. Anyway. Hey, Mr. Brody. Hey, Bishop Brody Pants. How are you, buddy? Are you a good boy? Yes, Brody's best boy. He wags his tail. He wags his tail in agreement with me. That's how I know. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. 